What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're going to be out here looking for racer snakes. Now as many of you guys know, racer snakes are a very common and very bitey species, but they also are one of the most widespread and successful colubrid snakes in the world. Let's go. Racer snakes are an absolute classic of a snake. There are many different types of racers across the world, ranging into pretty much every single habitat. And here in North America, colubra racers are the most successful snakes around. Racer snakes are common and fast, so morning time is a good time to catch them while they're still heating up at forest edges. Now racer snakes are a pretty general species. You can really find them anywhere. You can see them in your neighborhood, on the road, virtually anywhere. But if I'm really looking for one, I'm gonna be hiking edges. So edge of this with a lot of water, this edge here. You can find them in virtually any habitat. Right now we're in between some really just wasteland forest. We've also got some hardwoods there and some longleaf pine. If we just keep hiking this, we'll be looking on top of logs in the grass and we should see some. First race. Oh. Have a look at that. A little black racer. He is shredded. Woo. Don't do that, bud. Hi. How are you doing? He's got a lot of sores on him, probably water sores, because this area floods a lot. Name him in my face. This is a smaller one, maybe two and a half, maybe closing in on three foot. He's actually shedding in my hand, as you can see there. This is probably his after brumation shed. Ow! We bit him. You can see on his face, he's got a sore there. This is a pretty typical looking black racer, besides all these shed mishaps. That's actually coming off pretty well. Very gently, make sure nothing gets stuck. That's kind of cool. I'll let him get the rest off on his own. I don't need to be doing that. They can vary in coloration, size, pretty much everything across their range. There's island racers, there's racers out west that live in deserts. Racers are honestly one of the most modernly successful snake species. You can find them in neighborhoods. You can find them virtually anywhere. Racer snakes are just a very adaptable species. Definitely a bit torn up, you can see on his face there. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one back, hopefully find a bigger one, and hopefully see some more basking out today. It's a really good time to find them. It's uh, still a bump cool and sunny, so they're not gonna be fully moving until about midday. All right, hopefully we can get a bigger one. See you, dude. There we go. There we go. They are quick. Woo. My home state of Louisiana is home to four different racer snakes. The black racer, the black mass racer, also called a blue runner, and the yellow belly and buttermilk racers out west. In this area, we're really just going to be seeing black racers, but they can look different based on their size and habitat. Racer! Gotcha! Ow! Have a look at that! That's a baby racer. Look at him. Once again, in shed, Kind of thinking they're all gonna be in shed. What are you doing? Stop that! It's really cool how racers will actually instinctively go for their predator's face. So he's thinking I'm gonna bite him, so he's like, I'll bite you on the face first. You can't reach me. So he is starting to get those. Ah, stop it. He is starting to get those adult colors, those darker blacks and stuff, but he still has just a bit of blotching. We'd probably see it better if he was not in shed, but you can see it on the belly here. Check that out. It's got all this little weird speckling and patterning. It's really cool. You're a bebe. You cannot hurt me. The big ones can pierce skin, and I'd have to guess in the right spot one like this could too, but they don't have a strong bite. They've just got a lot of teeth. Now, <laughs> depending on where they get you, it can hurt. I actually got tagged on the nose by a big one recently. I think you can still see a bit of a scratch there still, but a uh, baby one like this, no problem as long as it doesn't bite me on like the eyeball or something. Racer snakes are typically gonna be a perfectly safe snake, but uh, I do try to avoid bites from bigger ones. A lot of people would confuse baby racers for coach whips because they have all that patterning and stuff. But once you start recognizing that racer look and just, it's just a little racer with lots of cool blotching. Really awesome animal. We're gonna go ahead and let this one go and hopefully find a bigger one. All right, see you little dude. Watch you go. Gotcha! 
Oh, check that out. Racer snakes are mostly going to be feeding on lizards, but they're also known to eat rodents and other snakes. Being such a generalist species is what's allowed these snakes to expand their range. In fact, if you live in the range of a racer snake, you've more than likely seen them before as well. And we've got another one. This one's bigger and in shed, so I'm going to try to sneak up on him. Doesn't look like he's seen me yet. Have a look at that. That is much larger. Black racer. He's in shed. All of them have been in shed today. But he can still see apparently because he tagged me on the thumb there pretty well. Yep, early spring. These snakes just are not moving like they are going to be this summer. This one is feisty. Now, this snake out of shed is going to be a jet black coloration. He's calming down a little bit. Racer. No, never mind. That, I lied. He's not calm down. He's just blind. <laughs> Normally, if you handle them for a minute, they'll kind of get this little movement going and they will chill out on biting, but this one is not doing that. And he is just continually trying to bite me. I think this is the best, right? Like that, while he's blind, this is just the best way because he don't know what's going on. It's weird though, because he still does have a pretty good perception of where I'm at. They're not a snake that has those heat-seeking pits, so I don't know how he's really seeing me too well, but he is also kind of confused. Like he doesn't know where everything is, but he definitely notices movement, which is really cool. So he just kind of randomly picks out where his movement and just goes for me. I don't really get it. They're all going to have a pretty similar build, that slender, slender build. In fact, I'd say black racers are kind of one of the more thicker racer snake species. And they're actually one of the slower from what I've seen. Buttermilks, definitely black masks are a lot faster than these. And then there's some really fast racers that live on islands. Those more tropical racers are going to be super, super fast. And as you guys can probably figure out, they're called racer because they are fast. A really widespread species and a very successful species that uh, is actually, as far as snakes go, doing very well in pretty much every single environment. One of the most adaptable snake species around, which also makes it one of the more common, but we can still appreciate these snakes nonetheless. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing and check out the time that we found a coach whip over in Mississippi when we found a diamondback. That's also a very cool snake species. And we will see you guys next time. I'm just going to put you back by your tree. Oh, that was wow.